hey welcome back my peeps today we're gonna make some brownie sh strawberry brownie santa hats some fake fake ones um i, I didn't make any we're gonna make them together but before i start i just wanna um you know talk about some of these things that are over here because i made this little debbie uh tree cake last year if you want to make some, you can go look in the in my playlist, and it's there um, from last year. I did these melted snowman cookies last year. It's also in the playlist, and this cookie tree cake is in the playlist. Um, I made this milk last year. Also is in the playlist if you want to make the milk and we made chocolate chip cookies last year too. Was it last year? Yeah, we made some. Um, if you want to uh, look at the tutorials and see how I made those. Now these cuties over here, I did not make these. These were a gift from Yanita from Designs by Yanita. She made these last year. And sent them to me so I can put in my Christmas display. So they're back out this year because I love them so much. And they're so, so cute. So we're going to put them back over there where they was hanging out at. And then these are actually Christmas ornaments. One of my subscribers sent this to me. But of course, I can't hang it on a tree because they're just too cute. So I'm going to put them right here. Is a hot cocoa and a marshmallow. And I'm going to put it right here with my sign. Hot cocoa warm up here. I think I, oop, I got this. This came from Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99. It came from Hobby Lobby. So anyways, if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comment and I'll get back to you. But I just want to let you guys know that there's tutorials for all of this out there. So if you want to add these to your Christmas decor, you can start making them now. Okay. So, I already made the base for my brownie because I wanted it to be ready for, you know, us to make right now. So, I made that with a mold. I used this mold. I got this mold. I don't know where I got this mold. But, you see, it's kind of like shaped. Not like a regular cupcake. I mean, it is like a cupcake, but it's a little bit more um narrow i told you as you go towards the bottom so i made it with that but you don't need to do that you can make yours by hand and i also have some fake strawberries here that i'm gonna use but you don't have to do it like how i do it you can get you can make your strawberries by hand i just this is what i want to do and i have two different kinds of strawberries i have some really small ones then I have these that I got from um, Hobby Lobby. So I might use some of these. But you don't have to do that. Okay? So if to make your brownie base, you can just get you some brown clay. Any kind of brown clay you have. I like air dry clay. This one is from Play Code 3. But you know, there's lots of people out there that sell air dry clay now. And it's very affordable. I think it's a better deal than uh, Model Magic. It's not as dry as Model Magic. Look, you see that? It's not as dry as Model Magic. It dries a little quicker than Model Magic. It gets a skin on it quicker than Model Magic. And um, what was something else I was going to say? You can find it in so many colors. Unlike Model Magic that they have... Like a certain amount of colors. So anyway, you're going to take... If you want to make yours the same shape as mine. So you're just going to roll it out and then start coming. Like putting a little bit of pressure at the end. So it gives it more like a cone shape. Okay, if you want to make yours like mine. You don't have to do it like mine. You can make a flat. If you want a flat piece, that's fine too. So what I did... I just gave it like a little bit of texture. Just a little bit, not too much. But like I said, if you want to make it like mine, so you're going to roll it into a ball first. And then you're going to take it 
and start like a little bit of pressure towards the bottom and then you can make it look like more like mine like that okay that's totally up to you you can make your base however you want it whatever makes you most comfortable making okay but that's how you do that i'm gonna put that to the side well let me put some texture i like using this tool right here I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like a has like prongs at the end, and I like it to get help me give like my stuff texture. Yes, you can use a, a toothbrush, but when you put use a toothbrush, you're putting pressure on it, and it kind of makes it get out of shape. But there's nothing wrong with it. I still use my toothbrush. Yes, I do. I'm just saying, you see how it's kind of like got out a little bit out of shape. So that's why I like this too, because you just stab it up and not much pressure is going into taking it out of shape. Okay. All right. So we're going to do that. We got this and we got this. Now, like I said, I have these strawberries and I have some of these strawberries over here. But if you don't have strawberries, you can still do this. Get you some red clay. Get you some red clay. Let's move this up in here. All you need is a little piece of red clay. Big enough to be a strawberry at the top of your brownie. Make sure you get enough. And you're going to roll into a ball again. And then you're going to try to turn it into like a teardrop. So you're going to roll it a little bit. You're just going to put some pressure on this side. Just so you can get that teardrop shape, okay? And then you're going to take it and you're going to twirl it up a little bit so it gets more like a strawberry shape, right? And then you're going to take a tool with a pointy end and you're going to face your strawberry towards you, the top towards you, and you're just going to go in there and put dents in it with your pointy tool, okay? And that's it. And you're going to have your, your little strawberry. Remember, this is fake baking, okay? It's not supposed to look real. We know it's fake, okay? So basically, that's your strawberry, right? You see? And you're going to take your strawberry, and you're going to put it on top of here. I think I want this to be a little bit wider. Cause I'm gonna put, you're gonna put some, you're gonna put some, um, so I made it a little bit wider. So you're gonna put spackle around it to give it the Santa hat look. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look. And I wanted to make sure that I show you guys how to do this um, with a mold and without a mold. You know, usually I do that. If I can, I do it. If I can't, I can't, but we could do this. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use this strawberry. Let me take this part off. See if I see if I like the way. Oh, it don't matter because it's gonna go down. Oh, uh, I think I like that one. So here goes this one. So now for the um uh, for the pom pom at the top. You could either roll yourself out a small little marshmallow if you want, or you can just go on and use the spackle. It doesn't matter which one you pick. So, since we have this one ready here, let's go on and put the spackle on this one. And let me get the plate ready right here real quick, because I'm going to need something to put it down on. So this is what I was gonna do. Wait, I need to make a little. I always like to squeeze out a little bit. Make sure it's all coming out good. Okay. Wipe it. So this tip is a 21. You can use an 18, a 16, anything that has a small star tip, okay? 
you're just gonna go around and you're gonna give your strawberry like a brim for it's Easter Easter oh my god <laughs> his Christmas hat Ugh. and then you can put a little dollop right on the top and look how cute this is look you got your cute little brownie right that's this one is made if you don't have a mold or anything you can still make it it should not stop you from making it okay at all you don't need a mold i'm just doing mine because i have the stuff so i want to do it like that but you don't have to let's see if this glue gun is ready yep it's ready that's the one thing I like about this glue gun. It gets hot fast. Like my other glue gun, it would take forever and a day to get hot. Alright, so I'm going to stick this right in the middle of my brownie. And I'm going to uh, glue sticks. glue. I mean glue webs. And I'm going to... See, it's stuck on there. And now I'm going to put my spackle on like I did that one over there. So remember, you get you a tip, a 16, an 18, or this one is 21. As long as there's a small star tip, you should be. <sighs> the only thing I hate is that, like, when you're, uh, when your um your clay is dry like the spackle don't be wanting to stick to it but if you put pressure on it and you kind of scrape it not too much or you could just put a little bit of glue on it at the bottom too and then i'm gonna come to the top and put my little swirl and look i don't like that swirl though didn't look as cute as the other swirl. <laughs> All right, let me wipe this off. I didn't like that swirl. Let me wipe off my tip too, because if when you when you put in your spackle on, if it has a lot of gunk at the tip, it kind of takes away from making you a cute little swirl. So here we go. Let's try this again. All right, there you go. That's much, much better. You see that? How cute that looks? Honey. These are so cute. Look. Go make your whole tray of these. A little cute brownie strawberry Santa hats. Oh, there I go. There I go. Jeez Louise. Let me leave them alone. <clears throat> but anyway, guys, this is the beginning of our Christmas sweets, treats, DIYs, and some just good old fun. All right, guys. Do you like it? I love the way it looks. It looks so real. I'm going to make a bunch of these. All right, guys. So, I'm excited about getting started on this holiday season cake baking see what i come up with i got a whole bunch of ideas in my head now let's see which ones get on a tutorial because sometimes i have so many ideas but not a lot of time but i'm gonna work hard on it guys and i'm gonna bring you some good cute stuff okay so stay tuned and until the next video stay safe stay healthy keep crafty and i will talk to you guys real soon god bless you bye Thank you.